What just happened, babe? Pulled into a truck stop, and by the time we pulled out, we bought a new house. I'm Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided, you know what? Life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and experiences. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. So change is in the air. And we haven't thought this out very well, so bear with us. But we wanted to let you know what's happening in our world. Things got to change because <laughs> We can't keep doing this. And by this we mean driving around this huge rig. So we're saying goodbye to our home on wheels. And we love Grand Design and we love this rig. The only thing we don't love about it is how big she is. <laughs> it's huge. Have I told you how big our unit is yet? Yeah, this thing's bigger than I remember. An airline pilot says 95% of the time it's sheer boredom and 5% of the time it's sheer terror and I think it might be the opposite for me with this rig. On the interstate it's not so bad but getting on the back roads, narrow roads, mountain passes, driving through cities and making right hand turns at intersections. We also want to be able to get something that we can fit more places in. Didn't think we were gonna fit in this site, but we, we did it. Our goal all along, before we walked into this beast of a rig, was 35 feet and under. We first started shopping for RVs, we heard a lot of advice that don't spend too much time figuring out what your first rig's gonna be because you're probably not gonna have it very long. True. And that's been entirely true with us. Day two of the Tampa RV show. I'm gonna check out some classes, classes, and run back through some fifth wheels. Maybe we'll come out with a decision. And then those other people out there say, start with the end in mind and get the biggest rig that you think you're gonna end up with. Well, we did that, and that's not not working out for us. There's five slides in this unit. Oh, a lot of slides. We. Thanks. Definitely want to be smaller so that we can fit in state parks and national parks and some of our favorite spots we like to go. So that's our story. And is anyone else crazy like us and went a year in their RV and then decided it wasn't the right RV? We'd love to not feel so alone in the world. Yeah. Comment yeah. below share, and let us share know. Share your stories. Do you know what I'm going to miss the most about our rig? The coat closets. Other than that, I think I'm good. So little things. If you haven't seen the tour of this rig, I'll link it above so you can check out all the space and things we have. We're pretty spoiled and we are still gonna be pretty spoiled with our new rig, but there aren't any coat closets. What are you gonna miss the most? She's like, what are you talking about? We're moving. As long as she has mommy and daddy, she's okay. But the other one, shh, he's, he's not too sure about this because he's not all about the change. Are you ready for the move, Jasper? And we're gonna have to stay where the next few days? At yeah. a hotel. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. We had our last night in Tagalong. Now we are gonna finish packing up, cleaning up, stowing things, and head on down to the dealership. Wish us luck. The good news is that's not our new rig, and more good news, We've got a pilot car up in front of us. We're just gonna hang right behind him. <laughs> so we just arrived at Legacy RV and we are going to figure out where we park our home because they need to keep ours for a couple of days because they were offered to switch over our generator and washer and dryer into our new rig. What's up you guys? Woo! I love these guys watching their YouTube page. I feel like that I probably know more about their videos than they do because I've watched so many of them. But they are super informative and super, super fun. So 
Let's go do hey, some business. Hey, maybe you better buy an RV more often with that kind of plug. Yeah. Well, we're home. Welcome to our smaller rig. Your first look at our new home, babe. Tell me what's happening in your mind. It's, uh, this is gonna be such a pleasure to drive and park and camp in. It seems a lot shorter, and it is a lot shorter. You're already making yourself at home, huh? This is the first time in 14 months we'll be sleeping inside sticks and bricks. Yep. I kind of I kind of feel better in our house on wheels. You're okay. It's you, not so bad. You want to eat some food? I'm loving my RV life a lot more right now. I'm not loving this hotel life. We were a little stressed today, so we did a little emotional eating tonight and broke our healthy whole foods routine and ordered Chinese food. I don't know if you're like me, but I take my fortune cookies very seriously. Tomorrow we're about to trade in our big beautiful rig and get another new rig. We're doubling down. And you know these rigs aren't cheap. I opened my fortune cookie. I'm feeling a little better because Got some food in my stomach, a little comfort going on. Open my fortune cookie and bam! This is what it says. Lavish spending may be disastrous. Be careful. Not, it might be wise to think about your buying options. Disastrous. I mean, who, who's ever gotten a fortune like that? You're supposed to like put a positive spin on things. <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned last night about the fortune cookie. Me too. So I decided I would bring my ball with me today. Are these guys going to get really good taken care of? It has been determined so. Does that make you feel better? Look <laughs> at the princess over here. In her king size bed. This dog rolls the roost. Did you wake up this morning knowing where you were? Yeah, knowing where I don't want to be. Just had our second night in a hotel, and I woke up realizing we are officially homeless right now. No, we're not homeless. We are. We're in limbo land without. Our home on wheels without a home or living in a hotel. I don't like it. We are literally still have to move a bunch of stuff. Everyone's left and we have to lock the gate on the RV dealership. They're gonna put me on the payroll. I'm closing shop here. We're the last ones out of here. Legacy RV, where you close the gate. <laughs> so the move didn't go well yesterday, but that doesn't even bother me at all compared to the smashed back window and the missing kayak. Those things. Had me a little more agitated. So this is real, real freaking life here. Rainy morning, blustery. First time we've had rain in months and months. And uh, smash and grab. But they got our kayak, god dang it. And that pisses me off. So maybe the fortune cookie was right. But Safe Light Auto Glass is kick ass. They came in and vacuumed out the whole truck. I mean, there may still be a shard or two, but nope. You know, we just gotta be really careful with the animals. So I think we got all the shards up. We're back in the service center at the dealer. Yeah, Jasper's terrified because 
the auto glass center did a great job taping the window up, but it's super loud and we were just getting him used to driving in the truck and not being scared and the noise is freaking him out. So once we get to where we're packed, everything's packed up, we're gonna try to soften the sound coming from that window because I'm guessing we're not gonna be able to get it replaced till we make the trek back to Colorado. And um, yeah, so we'll see how the day goes. And a big storm's coming in, so we may be spending the night behind razor wire in the lot with our animals in the RV. <laughs> not a very good first impression when you're switching new homes especially when you're already emotional so keep you updated what's going on what is going on huh buddy welcome to our mess we're gonna have merchandise packed in the aisles on the way back to denver like a moving van which is fine but we're going to wait for the storm and the calamity of uh, stress and hurry up and chaos. We're going to let that blow over and, and then we'll head back on the interstate and everything will be good. Did you ever think you'd be locked into an RV dealership by yourself for the weekend? Not without Doberman Pinschers outside. Hey, sometimes don't, things don't go so well. We've had a little rash of bad luck here. It, it'll it'll shift. I hope this is the last time we downsize for a while. That's all I that's all I gotta say about it. I just wanna get this done, get this organized, and go keep enjoying life. All right, we'll catch up with you and keep you informed on what's happening here. Well, we're getting close to pulling out, and I thought I'd come into our tag along 390. RK and do a final walkthrough, but I'm getting emotional now. And I hope someone else enjoys this unit as much as we did. It's a big unit. If you can handle hauling a big unit, I would definitely get this unit. It's been amazing. We've just gone about 100 yards. <laughs> Haven't hit anything yet. And it feels pretty compact. I might get a little bit sporty in this thing. No, 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 no. Are you ready to take her out on the real world? Yeah, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna walk around for the sixth time and then we'll be ready to go. Great sadness in our hearts. This is how we say goodbye in this the hallway. Is how we say goodbye to tag along. Not really. We have to come back and take everything out of it. But we wanted to let you know it's time to say your goodbyes to tag along the RV. Hey, babe. Yes. <laughs> we don't want to do this again, babe. We got to stick with the next one for at least several years, right? Yeah. The only thing that I'm concerned about is if if intruders do get beyond the barbed wire at the tops of the fences, the razor wire, then I'll be a little bit concerned. But I do have the bear spray between the car alarms and the screeching tires. I don't think we heard any gunshots, but... We promise the fun Metzgers will be back. We promise. <laughs> <laughs>